Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. Just here to pop down your card for the day. Uh, I'm going to be using the black and white Faulkner deck as usual. So I'll just give that a little shuffle. And see what we've got. Okay. So our card for the day is the Seven of Swords. Okay, so Seven of Swords is quite a tough little card. And it talks about kind of energy of, well, kind of the imagery talks for itself, really. You know, kind of wandering along there through underneath the ladder. And um, it, it really is an energy that talks about kind of sneakiness or deceit, lies, things not being quite as they seem. So uh, all I would say to you today is, you know, forewarned is forearmed, isn't it? So for the energy for today, just bear in mind that, you know, not everybody is to be taken at face value. Um, you know, luckily enough, most people in the world, you can take them at face value, but, you know, some people you just can't. And it's to, it's asking you to just keep an eye out today for things that um, are a little bit too good to be true, things that are not quite right, feeling that you get about somebody where they're not, you feel like they might not be telling the truth. With the appearance of this card, then the likelihood is that they may not be telling you the whole truth. So, that, you know, it's... Um, it's a card that gives you a little bit of a heads up, really, about things that may not be quite right. You might not be seeing the whole picture on something. There could be some hidden, um, some hidden things that are there that you kind of, you know, might not be so good. OK, it's about sort of sneakiness and lies and deceit and all of that kind of thing. So the Seven of Swords is just a heads up, really, that says... Just be aware of, of things. Don't take it all at face value. Check everything out that you need to check out. Take care with things. Don't just kind of believe everything that you're told. I'm not going to dwell too much on the Seven of Swords just because um, I kind of like these daily messages to be quite positive and uplifting and to be using the law of attraction. We need to be focusing on the good rather than the negative. And the Seven of Swords is, is a card that says you know just beware because you might not be being told the whole truth so i'm going to leave that one there where it belongs and have a look and see what the oracle cards have for us today um and just see what we can focus on here that's a little bit more positive than mr sneaky let's have a look okay let's just see what we've got Okay, so this one's interesting as well. Much more positive, but interesting because it goes with the Seven of Swords. The, the Goddess of the Moon is a bit like the High Priestess. And what the Goddess of the Moon says is, please rely on your intuition, your gut instinct, your, you know, your connection with the psychic world. So if you have a feeling about somebody that, that they're not quite telling the truth, the likelihood is this late, this goddess of the moon is saying is that they're not. So, you know, use your intuition. It won't let you down. Um, also, the goddess of the moon talks about paying attention to your dreams. OK, so, you know, quite often we have dreams and kind of don't really know what to make of them. There's always some kind of message there. It's either our subconscious just processing stuff that has to be processed from the day. Um that can be useful too you know what we make of that in our dreams is is quite useful to us but what the dreams also do is they allow our subconscious mind to alert us to things or to draw our attention to things um, that we need to know but we may not be taking complete note of in our in our lives in our day-to-day -day lives so dreams can be very very helpful to us and what's really, really useful to do is to keep a little dream diary. Um, I keep a little note by my a notebook by my bed. So if I wake up and I've had a dream, well, I'll, I'll jot it down. And then what I tend to do is keep that for a couple of weeks and then go back and have a look and see what those dreams are about. 
what my energy was when I was in my waking hours, what my energy was. And then the dreams start to make sense. Everything in your dream, uh, there is a school of thought that says this, uh, this is what I buy into, doesn't necessarily mean it's what you buy into, it doesn't have to be. Um, but everything that comes in, what I believe is that everything that comes in your dream is somehow a reflection of part of you. So if you're dreaming constantly about, I don't know, children or babies or something like that, then that is to me saying that you need to do some work on kind of embracing your inner child. How you would nurture a baby or a, or a small child is how you should be nurturing yourself. Um, so it's kind of an energy that, that, that says that. So what I tend to do is when I'm writing out my dream is I'll write out all the major things in that dream. So it may be a field, it may be grass, it may be the sea, it may be water, it might be a river, it might be trees. And kind of really look at those those subjects in there and have a look at the symbolism. You know, what does that tree mean to you? Trees tend to mean learning and growth and abundance and all of those things. So it's about taking the things out of your dream, writing them down and having a look at the symbolism there and seeing if that makes sense with what you're actually going through in your waking time. Um, so, yeah, there she is. Goddess of the moon saying pay attention to your dreams pay attention to your intuition if you have a feeling about somebody today that they might be a little bit sneaky um chances are they probably are a little bit sneaky and best to be either avoided or dealt with or kind of just be aware that that might not be the whole truth that you're seeing okay so what i'm going to quickly do now is just pop down a little angel card for us to just go with these today just have a look and see what they're this is the um daily guidance from the angels card deck by Doreen virtue um as you as you know if you watched me yesterday um i've got some nice new angel cards to be working with soon so we'll get those out and about and uh i'll do a box on opening video for those later on I'll put it on my youtube channel which is crystal sparkles um, you can find me there for that. Okay, let's just put down this angel card. Just to give us a little bit of something else. And it's the go for it card. Okay, so I always really like a little angel card on top of, of things that are a little bit mysterious or, you know, a little bit uncertain. Because they tend to give you a really, really positive um, outlook. Love this card. Love the animals in it just love the whole unicorn thing um you know you've got a lovely unicorn there this kind of looks like um wild cats so you know i kind of feel like there's an energy of needing to um move forward okay so move forward but move forward and i for some reason i don't know why i'm saying this but i'm going to give it to you anyway because it's what i'm being given um there's a need to move forward but with purity so integrity that sort of thing being honest being open being genuine um and that seems to cancel out this okay so it's almost like if this energy is around you by hanging on to your own integrity and honesty and just moving forward on your path it doesn't really matter what other people do around you you know you don't have to take them on board you know the goddess of the moon is giving you power of intuition and understanding um angels are saying to you just don't worry about what anybody else is up to you go for it and the seven of swords has given us a bit of a heads up as to someone or something around us that might not be telling the whole truth um so what i'm going to do is i am going to leave you with the whole energy of go for it since that's so positive and we'll pop that there like that and i'll leave it there for today should be back again tomorrow and over the weekend over the weekend to do a couple more cards for us um but i'll leave it with you for today have a lovely friday have a brilliant weekend if you're not around and not tuning in then um i will see you again soon thank you very much bye for now <laughs>